Hey guys, welcome back to Healthcare Engineering YouTube channel. On our YouTube channel, we are share you many informative videos, especially on healthcare domain, in order to keep you updated or in order to provide you the latest trends in the healthcare sectors. Today, we are going to bring you another informative and very useful content, which is known as cath lab this type of application is very useful for the heart related patients and many informative informations uh, will be provided in this video before getting to the video we would like to invite you all to subscribe our youtube channel uh, to provide us your supports Please also share our YouTube channel and our videos with all your healthcare friends which will uh, give us the energy to provide these kind of videos uh, continuously. Guys, before getting into the technical concepts, uh, we would like to uh, give you a brief uh, summary about our healthcare uh, engineering uh, company. Um, this is our official YouTube channel, Healthcare Engineering. Uh, we are a company, uh, it's a private limited healthcare engineering private limited where we are doing uh, the technical consultations for all type of healthcare professionals especially for biomedical engineers. Apart from providing the consultations uh, for the healthcare professionals, we are doing many more services uh, for healthcare students as well as for healthcare professionals. We are uh, doing online sessions. We are conducting online uh, skill development programs for biomedical engineering students and professionals. We are uh, doing consultations. Uh, we are providing uh, career guidance. We are providing uh, higher educational uh, pathways for all type of professionals as well as the students. Uh, apart from these type of supports, we are providing the uh, academic project supports for the students. Uh, also, uh, we are providing uh, some supports for promoting healthcare businesses and all. Um, these are a quick summary about our supports. Uh, if you would like to know more about our supports or even if you would like to get our supports, please feel free to contact us uh, via our uh, official uh, WhatsApp number or via our uh, email addresses we, we are, which we are providing. Uh, in the description uh, boxes below in, in this YouTube channel. Okay guys, now uh, let's get into the today's concept uh, which is cath lab. So most of you have heard about the name cath lab. Uh, if, if, if those who ever don't have heard about this name cath lab, let's get into the concept. It's a cardiac catheterization laboratory. That's what we know, what we call as cath lab, a cardiac catheterization laboratory. Uh, it's also known as cardiac cath labs. It's a special room where doctors can perform minimally invasive tests and procedures to diagnose and treat cardiovascular diseases. So uh, we have already informed you uh, that this entire cath lab procedure is totally dedicated for heart related patients only. We cannot proceed uh, any other procedures in the cath lab sectors, right? Uh, surgery performed in the cardiac catheterization laboratory almost always involves small flexible tubes called catheters which can be used in places of surgery to access the heart and blood vessels. The catheter lab has special imaging equipment that is used to view the arteries and check the flow of blood in and out of the heart. This information helps the care team diagnose and treat blocked arteries and other problems. Let's think about why cardiac catheterization is used to. First of all, it is used to assess or confirm the presence of coronary artery diseases, valvular heart diseases or aortic heart diseases. Secondly, it is used to assess myocardial functions. Thirdly, it is used to determine if additional treatment is needed. For example, interventional surgery 
or coronary artery bypass graft or CABG we can say uh, as the other term now we are going to talk about the very important procedure of how this entire uh, procedure takes place as a quick summary during this uh, cardiac catheterization an elongated tube called a catheter is inserted into a plastic introducer sheath uh, sheath means a short hollow tube inserted into the blood vessel in the leg or arm of the patient of the heart patient right with the help of a special x-ray machine the catheter passes through the blood vessel to the coronary artery a contrast agent is injected through a catheter as it passes through the heart chambers valves and main vessels this part of the procedure is called coronary angiography some some of you have heard about this name before coronary artery disease is narrowing or blockage of the coronary or heart arteries after interventional surgery the coronary arteries are opened increasing the blood flow to the heart the digital photo of the contrast material is used to identify the location of coronary artery stenosis or blockages. Additional imaging procedures called intravascular ultrasound, technically we call it IVUS, and fractional flow reservoir, FFR, can in some cases be performed in conjunction with cardiac catheterization to obtain detailed images of the vessel wall. Currently, these two imaging procedures, which are known as IVUS and FFR, are only available in specialty hospitals and research centers. Using IVUS plays a miniature sound probe, also known as transducer, on the tip of the coronary catheter. The catheter passes through the coronary arteries and uses high frequency sound waves to generate detailed images of the inner walls of the arteries. IVUS produces accurate image of the location and extent of the patches. Uses of FFR to pass a special wire through the artery and administer a vasodilator. This test functionally performs a very high quality stress test on a small section of the arteries. Guys, let's see some cardiac cath lab procedures in our following videos. First procedure is cardiac implant closure device. The percutaneous closure of the patient foramen ovale which is the opening between the heart chambers is done using a special closed device connected to the catheter. You can see the device in the image itself. The other one is cardiac stent, a small wire mesh tube which is also known as a stent is inserted into the blocked artery to restore blood flow to the heart muscle. You can see these gadgets in these images. The other procedure is cardioversion. A catheter is placed in the heart to locate and map small clusters of the heart cells that cause the abnormal rhythm. Send a signal along the catheter to silence the cells which results in the abnormal rhythms. The other procedure is catheter ablation. A catheter placed in the heart locates and maps the small groups of heart cells that cause abnormal rhythms. The signal is sent along the duct silencing the cells and causing the abnormal rhythm. The next procedure is coronary atriogram. A coronary atriogram is an operation in which a very thin catheter 
or tube is passed from the groin, neck or arm through the artery to the coronary arteries that surround the heart. The doctor uses the catheter to inject a contrast medium into the blood of the coronary arteries. The dye shows up on the x-ray and highlights the coronary arteries. X-rays are called angiography in these scenarios. It's an x-ray examination of the coronary arteries. The catheter is placed in the coronary arteries to evaluate the arteries and the pumping chambers of the heart. Another procedure is electrophysiology evaluation. A study to understand the origin of heart rhythm disorders. The small catheter enters the heart through the formal artery or branchial artery and is used to test the electrical system of the heart. It can include the patient's abnormal heartbeat for diagnosis and treatment. Another procedure is electrophysiology syncope study, a test to diagnose the cause of the syncope. While monitoring the ECG and blood pressure, the patient's bed is tilted from the flat position to the upright position. Once the individual's response is recorded, treatment can be begin to prevent a recurrence. Another procedure is known as internal cardioveter defibrillator implant, a small device implanted in the chest that can be used as a pacemaker or to generate a slight electric shock when needed to restore a normal heart rhythm. One of the another procedures also known as angioplasty. The healthcare providers uses fluoroscopy during surgery. It is a special type of x-ray just like x-ray film. When the contrast dye passes through the artery, it can help the doctor find the blockage in the heart artery. This is called coronary angiography. One more last procedure is rotoblation. Rotoblation or rotational atherectomy may be a complex and also the most challenging technique in coronary intervention utilized in patients with heavy calcification in coronary arteries to deliver stents in position to enhance blood flow. It's, it is essentially a drilled technique with the assistance of a special diamond tip burr which rotates at the speed of 150,000 to 200,000 rotations per minute. This drilling technique clears the artery within the arteries of assist passes the balloon and stent easily. The tube of this catheter employed in this method are bigger than the conventional catheters. So far we have seen some procedures. What are the procedures we can go through or we may apply on these cath lab or on these patients especially whenever they have the heart issues. Now let's think about what are the risks when we, have, when we uh, go through these kind of cardiac catheterization procedures or uh, cardiac cath lab procedures especially in the healthcare setups. Cardiac catheterization is usually safe, but as with any procedure that involves getting into our body, there are risks obviously. Our doctors will discuss the risk with us and will carefully reduce our chance of developing these kind of risks in future. Uh, a few examples which can be mentioned are blood vessel perforation, air embolism where air enters the blood vessel this can be a fatal for the patients allergic reaction to the dye bleeding thrombosis contusion seizure kidney infections from the dye which we use in these angiographic procedures strokes 
The last uh, risk we may uh, say is uneven or irregular heart rhythms or arrhythmias can occur. These are some um, uh, distinguished or these are some um, very high risks which can be seen especially for the patients who go through the uh, cath lab procedures. But we cannot say that these type of procedures will occur in all patients who ever go through the procedures. But these are the procedures which may occur for the patients um, if they are unfortunately uh, get these type of uh, irregular or these type of uh, risks. They have to inform the doctors in order to change the treatments. Hi guys, thank you for watching this entire video. The technical part of this cat lab will be released soon and that video will be uh, linked with this video so that you can watch the entire session in the single video clips. Before leaving the video, we would like to request you to show your support by subscribing our channel, sharing our channel with all your biomedical engineering contacts.